Hello fans of software development, hello fans of AI. Today I will show you the epic battle between chat, GBT and cutters on the Code Wars coding platform. So what is Code Wars? Code Wars is a training platform for software developers where you can test your skills and train your skills as a developer. I have written some time ago a blog article about it. You find it in the links inside the description. And the idea of Code Wars is you can train um, your coding skills in different skill levels. Um, so there are challenges for new guys and there are challenges for very experienced developers. And you can train it in yeah, many different programming languages. Yeah? Though you find probably everything, yeah? not just Java and Python, you find way more programming languages. So it's really a good place to train your skills. And the super great feature is after you completed your task, you can see the solutions of other developers and that will give you insights in how other guys are using um, the programming language and maybe you will find some tricks which you didn't know before. Okay, so let's switch to Code Wars. Let's choose a first easy challenge on level eight. Level eight is the lowest level. And we will start with something really simple, like convert a Boolean into a string. I just copy here the instructions about what to do. Click the training button so that the training modus starts. And then implement a Java function, which does this kind of Boolean string conversion. Probably also an easy thing for ChatGPT to do. Here we go, let's copy the code. Let's paste it here, I have to check the signature. So I have to call the method convert instead of boolean to string, otherwise it would not fit to my tests. So let's execute the tests. You can see the tests always here on the bottom and there is also this attempt button which executes a bigger test suite. Yeah? So here in true false testing, it's not so complicated. Um, but anyways, test passed, so ChatGPT solved this. And there are more programming languages, as I said before. Yeah, you can do this challenge in many more languages. So let's do it also in Kotlin. So I tell ChatGPT, convert to Kotlin code. And here it returns the same function in Kotlin. Oh, nice as a one-liner. But we have to rename it to convert. And let's test and execute it. Probably it will be also no big deal in Kotlin. Yeah, so you, you see it's solved. So let's get for a harder challenge. Um, now I switch to level six and I will do again some kind of string challenge. So let me see what we have here. So for example, convert string to camel case is something we can do or chat GPT can do. We will again just copy the instructions, start the coding first in Java. And let's give it to ChatGPT. Write Java method so that it converts dash underscore delimiter words into camel casing. There's some special rule about the first word. So let's see if ChatGPT takes care also of this. Here we have already a result. So let's copy the code. Here we have some old code of mine. I trained this uh, before, so let's remove this one. And let's see what 
we have now in store. Yeah, you can see it's very often a different uh, solution. So let's execute also the full test suite and see if this also passes. And now it worked directly. Yeah, so the cutter is solved in Java, um, but we can train it also in Kotlin. So here we have also a previous implementation of mine in, in Kotlin. And um, the interesting thing is this was also written by um, ChatGPT in a previous uh, training, but here it didn't manage to solve the rule about the first letter. And now it also got this rule about the first letter. So let's see if the conversion to Kotlin works. Convert this to Kotlin. Yeah, since ChatGPT is yeah always doing it fresh from the scratch, sometimes it provides a correct result, other times not. Yeah, then you can tell ChatGPT to rewrite it and take care of this and that. Um, but it looks like that we have this time directly a working solution. Um, pum pum. Looks good. To me, so let's remove the old code completely. Let's test it. Yeah, now again, we have the issue about the first letter. So the conversion from Java to Kotlin didn't work as expected. Now, this time it didn't manage to handle the first letter correctly. Um, so I will rephrase this sentence again to ChatGPT. Okay, let's just rewrite the, the sentence and see if it manages now to, to deal with this. We get again a new code for it. Okay, let's copy it and see if it works now. Now it has some kind of deprecation and index out of range issue. Yeah, as you can see, uh, ChatGPT is not always able to solve things directly. Yeah? In Java, it worked right from the scratch. In Kotlin, it has some issues. If someone else is trying it, it might work directly in Kotlin and have issues in Java. Yeah, so um, anyways, it was solved in Java. So I trust uh, that after some time of interacting, probably it will also provide a working solution for Kotlin. But let's go for one more challenge, yeah, because we passed the level six in Java. So let's go to something really difficult on level four and see how this works out. So I want to have now again Java because of the bad experience with Kotlin before. So I want to do just a Java challenge. And here we have, for example, adding big numbers. That sounds to be ex easy explainable. So I copy again, just the instructions. I click on training, oh, wrong language, not JavaScript, I want Java. And let's see what it can do for us. We need, Java method to some big numbers. This kata is about not using big integer. In Java, you would typically use um, big integer from the math library. And that is something what is not allowed in this coding kata, so we have to do it somehow differently. So I think here uh, at the end we will fail because we have here the math library in place. But let's see um, if it works. That was not uh, mentioned in the instructions or what we passed to ChatGPT that the math library shouldn't be used. So let's see if it works or not. Okay, so the method has the same signature. That's good. Then we can just delete the old one and test it. And here the seven tests which we have here below just passed. So let's execute the big test suite. 
And here, oh, here we see we have an issue. So using mass seems to be not the problem what we have here, but the problem is that our result has leading zero and the expected result does not have leading zeros. So let's tell this chat GPT, make sure result has no leading zero. And then we will get again a new algorithm. Probably the result string would be adopted to remove the leading zeros because that seems to be the easiest solution for that. But let's see what ChatGPT is doing for us. It takes some time and here we have now the leading zero topic. So let's hope the test cases contain only results where we have one leading zero. Uh, because it's two leading zeros, it wouldn't work. But right now, thinking is not my job. So I let ChatGPT do all this kind of stuff. Or let's test it again. If our leading zero issue is now solved. And now we have something completely different. Our result is zero. That's wrong. So we would tell it again. Um, result is now wrong. Just the first leading zero in the result shall be removed. The rest of the result shall be as calculated. So let's see once again if we get now our wanted solution or if JetGPT is not able to solve it. Probably it was just about um, here that in case of the first catch, yeah, so here, here you see the bug. So character at first position, if it is equal zero, then we return zero, but uh, we should have returned uh, the result string, but without the first letter. Yeah, so that is the bug which JetGBT did. So let's see if it is better now. And now we have here a while loop and probably it's doing something about the leading zero. So I hope it is just working now. Let's see. So we go directly to the attempt of the full test suite. And now it worked. So we, uh, we can submit our cutter, can get the credits of the work ChatGBT did for us. And we can have a look how other developers solved it and maybe they have been smarter than ChatGPT. Okay, that's it. I have shown you how ChatGPT solved some kind of hard challenges at the Code Wars coding platform. And you might have seen how real developers are still needed to double check it and make sure that ChatGPT really got the task and to rephrase um, things so that uh, we really get the wanted result. And to be honest, yeah, this was prepared. Yeah, so here you see the lists of cutters I wanted to show to you because um, many cutters at Code Wars have hard descriptions. Sometimes the description is not really correct. Yeah, so you have to not just do what is written there. You have to check and make sure it makes sense and you get examples and you have to um, deal with the examples and they are also sometimes part of the description. Yeah, So it's not always as easy as it has been shown here. Anyways, if you liked my video, please give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel so that you get always updated about new content. See you next time.